Hey everybody, thanks for joining me. So today we are going to be looking at the Sega Genesis Classic Game Console from At Games. Uh, this is a retro plug-and-play console based on the Sega Mega Drive, which was released in Japan in 1988, and then rebranded as the Sega Genesis for its North American release in 1989. Uh, in its heyday, the Sega Genesis was the most successful 16-bit console on the global market, thanks in part to its franchise mascot, Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, its many arcade ports such as the Mortal Kombat series, and a very aggressive youth marketing campaign. Uh, so without any further ado, let's take a look at what's inside the box. Okay, so here we go. We've got the Sega Genesis Classic Game Console. We see that there are 81 built-in games. Um, turn the box around here, we've got a few examples. You see uh, Altered Beast, Mortal Kombat, uh, some Sonic games, so uh, lots of stuff in there. Let's crack the box open. Okay, so inside the box, let's see, we've got our instruction manual. Looks like a basic setup and then actually that's kind of cool, a description of uh, each game that's, that's inside. Uh, looks like maybe the uh, box text uh, written out for you there and then some basic controls for, for each game. Very cool. Uh, let's see, okay, so we have the <clears throat> console itself. As you can see, it's uh, not designed to actually look like uh, any Sega Genesis console that was ever released, so that's, that's kind of a shame. It looks like it's more uh, just built for cheap and easy function as opposed to trying to replicate the actual console. But uh, it's very lightweight. There's a, see the cartridge slot there, then we've got a on-off button and a menu button. Uh, then here we've got the plugins for player one and player two. Uh, and on the back we've got the power and the video inputs, video outputs. Okay, uh, we've got, let's see, there's our <clears throat> video cable. So it's not an HD console, obviously. It looks like we'll have to hook this up to a uh, RCA connection. Um, power supply, pretty straightforward, basic power supply, uh, nice design, thin, it's thin there so it looks like it won't take up too much space with uh, everything else that you might have plugged in. And then we've got two controllers. <clears throat> so again, the controllers uh, Kind of loosely based on the uh, arcade controller that was not released initially. I believe it was released around 1993 when they started manufacturing uh, controllers for the Genesis that had uh, the extra three buttons. So maybe not the uh, original Genesis controller you might be familiar with, but they do kind of bear a resemblance to those later arcade controllers. Uh, Feel fairly lightweight, a um, bit on the smaller side, but uh, comfortable enough. So those are your controllers, and it looks like that's everything that is inside the box. All right, that's all for me today, so be sure to check out the bestbuy.ca blog for my full review of the Sega Genesis Classic Game Console, as well as many more reviews and features. See you next time.